Pete, can you please introduce yourself? Sure, I'm Mike Patton. I'm the singer of Faith No More. Well, I'm Roddy. I play keyboard for Faith No More. So you're actually the new... I'm going to talk to you now. You're actually the new singer of the band. Yes. How did you get into it? Mm -hmm. They kind of uh, just found me in a forest and I uh, gave them a tape of my band. They, pl they play it up in this forest. And I gave them a tape of my band and uh, they liked it and they called me up when they lost their singer and said, let's give it a try. Let's say America invented rock and roll and English took over with like people like uh, Led Zeppelin or Purple. Today, it, it, it seems like uh, American hard rock is stronger than English hard rock. What do you think about it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't listen to much hard rock. Yeah. But I don't know many bands from England that I'm crazy about. I like a lot more American bands. How do you see the English future of rock and roll? Going down the drain very slowly. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't have. I don't like many English bands. A couple of them are kind of interesting, but it seems like a lot of them these days are imitating American bands. Yeah. And that doesn't say much for English bands. What's the Italian bands like? Good. Do they copy us too? <laughs> Your band is pretty hard to put an etiquette on because, you know, you're doing different styles of music. Uh, could you tell me how close you are to bands like Red Hot Chili and uh, Peppers and Jane's Addiction? Which are bands you, yeah, because they are bands like yours, you know, we can put uh, an etiquette on them. Yeah, I think we get compared to those bands a lot. Personally, I don't think we have much to do with them. We've it's toured easy, with, yeah. uh, we've played with Red Hot Chili Peppers quite a bit and we're friends, but that's where it pretty much stops. I think people see kind of a little, maybe a funky element in some of our songs, so they compare us to them. Talking about all these etiquettes, what do you think of it? What do you think when the media says, you know, so and so, and how would you describe your music? yourself. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, I understand categories. I mean, I understand there's a reason for it, you know. You have to call music something, but, I mean, we don't really call it anything. We're making it. I mean, that's for other people to decide, you know. And we don't really care what they call it. So you actually mix rap and rock, hard rock or heavy metal. What's the connection between rap and heavy metal, and how easy is it to to combine both? Hmm. They both they both can be really aggressive, and they can both be really stupid too. Mm -hmm. But um, I guess that's a connection. That's another thing we don't really think about, though. It just kind of happens. Mm -hmm. Tell us about the video then, because it was one of the best we've seen for a long time in Italy. How was it made? That one of video. the best. Yeah. Oh, great. Mm -mm. Wow. We made it in London. We were over here and uh, we had to make a video. They wanted to make a new video, so they got an English director to help us out. And we got together with them and talked about what we wanted. And we went and shot it all in one day. And he was really good working with us, more so than other directors we've worked with before. He, I think, uh, gave us pretty much what we wanted. He asked us what we wanted to see and we said, well, I think a lot of weather would be nice, explosions, violence, kind of Dead chaos, fish. dying fish. And <laughs> yeah, that's what we went with. What do you think about all these bands being loud and provocating and violent? Do you think they're honest or do you consider yourself honest? violent, loud, and you like to provocate or not? I think it's best to provocate, yeah. Yeah. If you start it, you know, you're you're more in control. If uh, if violence happens to you, it's not as fun. It's better to bring <laughs> something out on someone, I think, than not. 
And how come is it only heavy metal bands or hard rock bands who do such things? I think rap bands yeah. uh, a lot more bring out violence, especially in America. There's a lot of gang violence at big rap shows, mm -hmm. much more so than heavy metal, I think. I think the typical heavy metaler wouldn't be smart enough to do anything violent. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about your new album, The Real Thing. How do you work on it? Because I've, I've read things like, you know, well, the five of you are very different. Is it easy for you to make an album all together? No, it's actually pretty difficult. We had written all the music by the time Mike joined the band. So in that sense, we really didn't work together too much on the music. He took what we had done and worked on it himself. And in the same way amongst the other members of the band, a couple of people would work on something and then uh, on one song, say, and then the other two would listen to the tape and add their part. It's pretty difficult because we don't get along very well a lot of the times and have different views. You think it makes the band going anyway? Makes the band what? Going on, even though you don't get along so well. Oh yeah, definitely, it's good for us. That's the way we work best. We have no choice. Yeah, that's the way it is. <laughs> what about the other singer? It's not going to come back any anymore. That's pretty over. I don't know. We're thinking about uh, sampling his voice and using it in some of our new songs. Can you do that? I don't know. I think we can do that. I think that. it's legally okay. We can sample the stuff that we've recorded with him, I think, and we use it live. You're tired, but you're tired. 